Yo, what is good, YouTube? We are back with another trade review. So we're going to be going over the gold trade that I took today. Uh, I took two cons. I took it on three different accounts, one trade of eight, and then two on Top Step X. So we're going to go over why I was bullish, why I took a long, and how my bias is playing out so far. So if you're not in the free Discord, go join it. It is linked down below. But coming into the day, just like I said in my top-down analysis video, if you have watched that, right now we are doing what I expected us to do, right? So you w uh, hold on. So let's measure out premium and discount from this impulse drive higher. We have came in, filled out this gap, right? So we have this imbalance, right? Internal range liquidity right here. Up here becomes our external range liquidity draw inside of already a weekly internal to external draw so we are playing this daily uh range right here and we come into internal on this day right here right i'm ignoring this day i want to play the third and then the fourth candle right first candle second candle drives into that internal third candle starts the drive higher to external and then the fourth if we don't deliver on the third should deliver us there right it doesn't have to but that's how i am playing it so coming down to the hourly chart Right here, we are coming into that draw on liquidity, the internal range liquidity right here. So obviously, I'm not taking longs to target that because we're too far away right now, right? I'm not expecting us to deliver there right now. We have CPI tomorrow, so we could just go straight there if CPI delivers us there, or we could go down a little lower. So this is how I was playing today, right? When 8.30 news dropped, Gold does not take out this low right here. Silver, however, does take out this low. So we have an SMT with silver and gold. So now that we have an SMT, right? Need that SMT to play out. So now that you know we have SMT, let's full screen this, right? We came into that discount. Now we are having SMT. And going down to the five minute chart, right here is that SMT. All right, you guys know that that daily imbalance is right there. Also, forgot to mention this. We had this daily or this hourly, sorry, hourly fair value gap right here. So now we have a hourly fair value gap and we had formed equal highs right here. So we have formed equal highs right here. Going down to the five minute now. Okay, so right here is where I took my trade. It was a fixed two R took two cons right here and then I got out of them up here so why did I take a long right right here is our market structure shift we have shifted market structure back to the upside right here what am I waiting for well I'm waiting for a low to get swept and the formation of an intermediate term low because we are not displacing right we have no displacement we do have we do have a market structure shift at this high but there is no displacement through here so right here whenever we swipe this low i am now <clears throat> excuse me i am now anticipating this to become our intermediate term low right we swipe this short term low create an intermediate term low that i am predicting okay so we have swiped a low we have closed above the body candles high. We now have a plus order block right here. So whenever we uh, close above this, I set my limits right there. You can see that I buy right on that order block. And then, so I bought right there. I had a stop right around here. And then I had a fixed 2R right there. So fixed 2R got in on that order block and then we delivered straight to my tp right i'm not trying to cat like there's no swing highs or anything i was just playing a fixed two r nice and casual nothing else to really do right so right there that is literally all this trade was was smt with silver need that smt inside of that one hour fair value gap market structure shift at this high we set a low no entry yet come up swipe that low anticipating this to form our intermediate term low 
close above the body of this candle, take the long on that, and if we measure out mean threshold of this candle, you can see that the body did respect it, and then we just deliver to that 2R. So I am only, I did take one contract off before it hit that 2R, so I'm up 960 or something on this trade of eight account, and I'm up 400 on the top step accounts. So yeah, top step, two accounts, one trade of eight account, and that was pretty much it, right? I was not interested in this, bro. I was not interested in this. I mean, there was just nothing to take on NASDAQ or ES. That huge, ugly news wick right there. If anything, I would have just rather saw this get ran. But obviously, if we go to ES, ES opened up a daily fair value gap right here. So we probably go run these equal highs. That These two candles look the exact same. They pretty much have the same low. They have the exact same high. They opened almost at the exact same spot and they closed almost at the exact same spot. So the, these two candles look kind of odd. Oil, if we take a look at the hourly, oil made zero cents today. It was just straight down to this low and then straight back up. <sighs> look at this, straight down, straight up. Now we're going back down. Oil, no trade. Gold was the only trade that I liked. So that is pretty much it. Uh, what do I expect for tomorrow? Honestly, I thought that dollar looked like it wanted to go higher. And I also thought indices wanted to go higher. But obviously the draw on indices, if we look at the monthly time frame, internal to external, monthly, internal, external, dollar, is not looking too good i mean there's i looking at the monthly chart it looked like the, this high right here wanted to get taken but we're not doing it so i honestly don't if we look at dollar it's just consolidating on the monthly time frame so there's really not much to do on the dollar other than wait to see if we want to take out this high or come right now in the daily it looks like it does want to deliver a little lower but i'm not exactly sure where dollar wants to go the monthly draw isn't clear to me the weekly draw looked to be higher we set equal highs it looked higher the daily draw looked higher but we're going down so indices all-time highs gold all-time highs that just looks like what it's going to be dollar no idea where she wants to go so yeah that is going to be the video if subscribe if you're new i'm like 20 subs from 4k join the free discord and good luck trading tomorrow be careful it's cpi so stay cautious and take those a plus setups i'll see you guys in another video peace